Health can get hit with multiple pride names if you have too much health? Holy shit, that's funny. Okay, so I have played Kirby's Dreamland before. This is not a first playthrough. Uh, but it's a nice, it's a nice chillaxin' moment after, <laughs> after beating stressful Metroid Prime. I mean, Super Metroid. This me Kirby music is good, it really is. This is such, like, a nostalgic game, too. I played the shit out of this game as a kid, and I'll probably still be ass at it. Kirby's Dream Band? No, what's that? Since you never figured out bomb snock, that trades off. I think three power bombs can flat out kill them. Shit, I tried to do bombs and it didn't do anything. Maybe I missed. Yeah, this was uh, one of the first games I ever owned as a kid. I had it on my Game Boy Pocket. So it, this game is actually pretty near and dear to my heart. Do you have the Metroidvania bug yet? I don't know if I have the bug, but I respect them a little bit more after beating that, I think. I don't know if I have the bug, but I still had fun with it. I had a lot more fun with it than I did uh, Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime felt a lot more stressful and frustrating, but again, that could just be because of the save state situation, you know? Having save states makes it- makes your life so much less stressful. I don't want to say easier, just you don't get tilted as easily because you don't have the threat of like, if I die here, I gotta walk all the fucking way back. You know, and I think there's a lot of that in Metro games where you're just like, fuck, I accidentally fell down this trolley pit. I gotta spend 25 minutes of my life getting back up here. And that's like, nobody wants that. It's annoying. I like walking, thank you. I like walking IRL. So, fun fact, this is such a um, weird Kirby game for a lot of people that go back to this because it's like the Kirby game where you don't get any powers. Like, there's no powers to be had. You just... you just eat things. That's it. Just eat things. <laughs> yeah, you just get to be Kirby. Exactly. This game is so good, though. It is very cute. It's a nice, like, chill, quick game. Oops. I love the tree. Yep, no powers. Just Kirby. But it is fun. It holds up pretty well, all things considered. I fought him many a times. I know, I love how he shows up in a lot of Kirby. What if the twist to this game is that the other games are actually Dreamland? As you get powers and this is IRL Kirby. Oh, interesting. I never thought of that. This music used to intimidate me as a kid. Fun fact. This music, when I got to this level, would intimidate me because I remember feeling proud of myself that I made it past the first level, so I would hear the beginning start of that level and I'd be like, oh shit, I got to level two! <laughs> That's how bad I was at games. <laughs> it's just so funny to like, look back on your childhood and be like, oh fuck, I made it! Kirby lore is extensive, brutal, and dark. Wait, is it? Oh shit. I don't think it is, is it? I know none of the lore. Yeah, I have no fucking clue of any lore. Kirby lore is super dark. Wait, how? What is dark about Kirby lore? I need to know. Please tell me. It's a lot of fucked up shit. Like, what? Spoil me. I don't know anything about Kirby lore. The Bleeding Eye final boss is pretty fucked. In which game? This one? I don't remember a Bleeding Eye. Why don't I remember 
that. The end bosses are basically all world enders, and then Kirby comes and fucks them up. It was in Crystal Shards. That one, I don't remember the bleeding eye. But I do remember the weird big mech thing that, like, twists and turns in three dimensions. That was pretty crazy. Those butterflies you see in a lot of those Kirby games, one of those butterflies is the god of dead. Wait, really? Actually? You guys could say anything. Oh, look at him walking in the pause mode. How cute. <laughs> Kirby is an eldritch abomination. Is he? Are we sure about that? Is that real? <laughs> I don't know if that's real. Kirby helped Nintendo win a major lawsuit against Atari or something. Captain Lorez, is that real? I'm... I feel like we're playing two truths and a lie right now. What was the lawsuit for? Well, I thought maybe if I killed them all I would get something, but I don't. Accomplished that you killed them all, you're not right. I love the spicy, spicy Kirby music. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Game Boy music, specifically like Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Color music, that just like scratches this itch in my brain. I just love it. I think. For that reason alone, Game Boy Color and Pocket will always be one of my favorite systems of all time. Because I can hear a brand new game and listen to the sound font and I am just inspired by it. I love it so much. I love it so much, like I can't get enough of it. It's nostalgia ultimately, you're not wrong. Oh shit. Okay, thank god. <gasps> You're going to bed, Donak. Thank you so much for hanging. I appreciate you. Thank you for stream. Of course. Thank you so much for saying be safe. I appreciate that. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. I'll see you Thursday. <gasps> Thanks, Limbo. It's good to see you. How are you? Kirby is and pink ball around an all-consuming void. That's pretty eldritch to me. <laughs> we could justify this. It's true. Kirby is the word. Hi, Retro Roy. How you doing? It's good to see you. I said your name backward. <laughs> Sorry, Roy. I don't know why I read your name backwards. Brain. Isn't there our air ride sound alert? Yeah, it's Josh's um, shout out. If you do exclamation mark Drazi or Josh, it'll it'll shout him out. How are you and my pink baby boy? Oh, we're doing great. I left it up to chat on if we were gonna play some Mario or Kirby after we beat Metroid, and they picked Kirby. So this is a very nice, relaxing, a relaxing way to finish up the day. I never knew the source. Yeah, it's from Kirby Air Ride. Oops, I should have saved that. The lawsuit about was about the copyright of the Donkey Kong character. Oh, interesting. I did not know that was a thing. Ow. I mean, I guess that makes sense, though. There were probably a lot of, like, old game lawsuits back then, because no one knew what was going on. The Bleeding Eye boss has been a couple games, but you need to find all the optional collectibles to it. Oh, so I've never seen it. Interesting. Maybe I should 100% Crystal Shard someday, Cellard. Maybe this is something we need to do. Because I never saw that at the end of Crystal Shards. I do like Crystal Shards a lot. It's a little clunky. Um... No, that was gonna kill me. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. 
Well done, thank you. <laughs> I like the idea of crystal shards more than I like the execution. Yeah, it's a little clunky, but I do like it. The nostalgia is very strong, so I think if I didn't have nostalgia for it, maybe I would hate it. I tried to 100% air ride, but it's so hard. It is. It's a very hard game. I'm not good at it. Air ride is very, um... It's very much one of those games that I play because Josh really likes it. But I'm not by any means good at good at Kirby or Ride. Wow, we uh we traded a death for a one up. I love that for me. It must feel so claustrophobic. You know, I've always thought that. Where I'm like, how come they can't escape? Like who decided this for them? It's kinda rude. Is there anything this way? Just a tomato. I played a lot of the Kirby games in 2022 and 2023, and I realize I just like Kirby and I don't love it. Yep, I feel kind of the same way. I, uh, I feel that Kirby games, as they went on, they got a little too slow for me. Oh, thank you for the clip! I appreciate it. I did forget Kirby could swim. <laughs> they got a little slow for me, I think. Like, Kirby in the Forgotten Land was cute, but I think I think there was just some stuff about it where I was like, eh, eh. It's, I get a little bored playing it, but it's cute. It's a very cute game. I think the last time I played a new Kirby game and was like, wow, that was fucking awesome, was the GBA Nightmare in Dreamland. And that's been a long time. You saying Kirby sucks? <laughs> Room shut. <laughs> No, I'm not saying it sucks. I just think it's not for me. Personally. I like Kirby- I like this one from for nostalgia purposes, but newer Kirby games, I don't like that they're 60 bucks and that you, they're like three hours long. No, that's an exaggeration, but they're very short and expensive. Game Boy games loved having a shoot 'em up boss in games that didn't deserve a shoot 'em up boss. Looking at you, Mario Land and Kirby. <laughs> My favorite is actually Squeak Squad. Wait, what's Squeak Squad? I don't think I've ever heard of that. I kind of want to play Forgotten Land. It's cute. It's really cute. I like that it's, um... I really like that it's co-op. So maybe you and Taylor could play it together and have a really good time, because Josh and I enjoyed it in that way. Nightmare in Dreamland was a remake remake of the NES Kirby's Dreamland. Oh, I didn't know that. So maybe I would really like the NES one. I've never played it. It's the one for the DS. It's got a good name. Squeak Squad is a great name. I also really, really liked uh, Kirby Dream Course. I have never had a game make me feel so violently competitive. Kirby Dream Course is so fucking funny. To sit down and play with some friends and compete, it's just mini golf, but unhinged and <laughs> and with friends, and it's just so fun. I love playing that. It's so funny. Like, you just can't get mad about losing a Dream Course because it's just so fucking random. I love it. It's very, very fun. Very well executed, like, Nintendo party game. I'm gonna make Taylor be Kerbo. Yeah, I really liked how you could pick different characters. The only downside to that is that there's, like, a lot of superpower thingies that you need that only Kirby can do. So it can be a little weird. But I did like it. Oh, there I go. Thanks for lurking, Hale. Good night, we'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for hanging out. NES Kirby game is extremely late in the NES life cycle. It barely even feels like an NES game. That's really cool. So you can adapt or get powers in the NES one, just like in the GBA one. That's really cool. I didn't realize they started doing that early. I thought it took them a while to start having Kirby do that. That's neat. That's really cool. Maybe I'll have to try that one. I bet I would really like it. I 
love the music in this level. It's so floaty. You ever played the NES one? No! The only Kirby games that I've played... I beat this one. I beat, um, the GBA one. I beat the Wii one. The one that he's dressed like Link on the cover. Return to Dreamland, maybe it's called. Um, and I like that one. I played... I don't know if I ever knew that was there. That's cool. Um, we found a secret. What other ones did I play? Crystal Shards. Oh shit. I had to beat this thing. You play Kerbo Adventure and Earth's Earth <laughs> After you play every Zelda game on stream, play every Kirby. Oh my gosh. Sam has got way squishier. Yes. We switched. We beat we beat the game, Drake. We did it. So then we voted on a new game to play. Stop it, Fish. I'm getting my ass kicked by an eyeball. Cringe, 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 cringe. If you like Kirby's Return to Dreamland, you should definitely check out Superstar. You know, that's the one Quiet Mountain has always said he really likes. But I've never played it. I probably should. The other GBA style one, Nightmare Mirror. Ooh, Amazing Mirror? I think Amazing Mirror is the multiplayer one, right? Yeah, you can, like, have multiple Game Boys hooked up and play together, which is cool. He may have won the fight, but he's a square eyeball. I was noticing that. See his little pixel thing? He's a square. <laughs> so goofy. They're like, uh, we can't make it a circle very well, so we're just gonna make it a square. <laughs> it's a Game Boy game. Please go easy on us. Amazing Mirror's multiplayer and kind of Metroidvania-like. Oh, interesting. That's kind of funny. Perfectly playable single player. Oh, that's nice. I mean, I do like switching it up and doing co-op streams. They can just be hard to set up. Hard to coordinate, that's for sure. It's not, um, Metro- it's not a great Metroidvania, but it's still a fun time. <laughs> if they make square watermelons, by golly, they can make square eyeballs. You're not wrong, Emo. Is there even timers in this game? I don't think there is. So is the Great Cave Offensive? Wait, that's... from that game? God, I hate that fucking level. It's my, like, least favorite fucking Smash level. I think that might be everyone's. Every game is better than Dream Course. You don't like Dream Course? Dream Course is so fun. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I didn't like Dreamland 3 at all. I tried to play Kirby's Dreamland 3 on stream and I got annoyed by it. I never finished it. <laughs> Dream Course is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dream Course is fucking awesome. I just saw Warlock's response and it seems like they don't like Dream Course, which... Feels like a cardinal sin. It's very clunky, the puzzles are weird. I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan. Oh, I remember this guy. Uh, when I said yes to streaming it with you, I was in town, I was fully ready to be like, tee hee. Oh, like you hate it? It's so funny. <laughs> True Blend 3 is kind of carried by its art. Yeah, I didn't love it. I think it was on the SNES demo. It was okay. There's a secret under the moon in the previous room. Is there really? I want to see the secret. Don't mind me rewinding so I can see it. Under the moon. Like if I go around this. Ah! That's cute! Thank you for telling me about that! Where are we going? Going. Just floating around? <laughs> yeah, 
can't believe you figured that out on your own. I know, crazy. I mean, I like hearing about the secrets that I never knew about as a kid, to be honest. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Did we just, like, skip the boss? Oh, it's just a fun little... A fun little drift. If you just drop, you chase items. Oh, okay. So I just floated slowly for no reason. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks for the woke on. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I was like, what a nice secret. I did nothing. Cracko remembers every single time Kirby defeated him and he harbors a bitter grudge. Re Wait, is this Cracko? I did pick up Kirby Superstar Ultra. Oh, nice. I don't have ma very many DS games. I really didn't either. I played a lot of Pokemon on my DS and that's kind of it. I never played many, many other games on my DS. I had a couple like shitty DS games. Ow. This is Cracko. I never knew any of their names, so thank you for filling me in on some Kirby lore. I'm gonna die again. Maybe not. Maybe we can do it. Ooh. Get away. Oh yeah, Phantom Hourglass. I did play that on my DS. But I did like it as a kid. I just never got far enough to get to the point where I didn't like it. Speaking of, when are we gonna play Spirit Tracks? is so quick. <laughs> Spirit checks only after Master Quest, are you sure? Beesh, try not to che tease chat about games she doesn't plan- wait. Beesh, try not to tease chat about games she doesn't plan on playing challenge. Difficulty impossible. Wait, what am I teasing about? Am I- was I teasing about, uh, Phantom Hour- I mean, Spirit Tracks? You should let's play Spirit Tracks first. I might. What if I do? <laughs> Hi, Greater Saber. Welcome in. It's good to see ya. How's your day? We beat Super Metroid, so we're playing some Kirby. Just to wind down. Because why not? To not play Skyward Sword. I mean, that is kind of true. That'll probably- well, also Tears of the Kingdom because <laughs> that game is so long. <laughs> I'd be disappointed, uh, but that's about it. I'm sorry. That's almost worse than being mad at me. Being disappointed in me. Congrats on being Super Metroid. Thank you, Mitch. I appreciate that out. Oh, are you talking about when you guys used to play uh, the Kirby soundtrack on loop at your game store? I heard about that. That's like diabolical levels of annoying the customers. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I think that's pretty hilarious. Warlock and Clutch used to work at a game store together, yeah. Ow. I know this music this soundtrack is so good. I agree. It's very catchy. Look at Kirby just jamming up there. Oh! Wasn't ready. Mindset's plummeting. Hey, I hope you feel better. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Good luck with the remainder of Kerbo. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Get some sleep. We'll see you Thursday. Uh, I'll probably both love and hate working at a game store, but I don't like retail in general. Yeah, I think it has its pros and cons for sure. I think there's probably a lot of good stuff about it, but then you have the people that ruin it. But that's like any job, you know? You can find the positives in any job, but then people decide to ruin it. <laughs> 
I miss a lot about it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... I feel that way about my serving job. Where, like, there was a lot of stuff I really liked about it. Like, my coworkers were awesome. And the free food was pretty great. Um, but there was just a lot of bullshit that I didn't miss, so... Yeah, there's no, uh, friendship. Like, uh, trauma bonding at a retail or serving job. So, I get it. I definitely get it. Some of the best friends can be made that way. Yeah, the coworker's not the work, exactly. Ah, frick! I'm getting hit! Thank you so much for the follow, welcome in! Ah, fuck, there I go. Crisis, hi, welcome in, thank you so much for the follow. Are parents buying GTA for their kids and coming back furious they didn't know there was sex in GTA? Dude, they said the same exact story. I heard that same story from Clutch and Warlock. That's so true. <laughs> so funny. Trombonding in a place that inherently you had shit in common. That's so true. I didn't experience that at the, at the restaurant I worked at, but that's such a good point. It happened all the time at Walmart. That's so annoying. They legit were like Mega Man Boss Rush. Yes, 100% that's what this is. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, do a Boss Rush. We don't know what else to put in here. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, the game's cute, short, sweet, fun. This blimp's name is Kabu Kabula, and she's female. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that. Ow. Imagine the restaurant, but everyone you worked with, like, Final Fantasy. Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. <laughs> I worked with some interesting characters uh, at the pizza place, I will say. I worked with some interesting folks. Dude, how am I such low health already? What even hit me? The funny thing is that the sex in GTA is less- Oh yeah, I mean, back then, the sex wasn't that graphic on TV though, I feel. I could be wrong, but I feel as if it wasn't. What uh, how much health am I spawning with? Am I not full health? I am. How did I lose so much health in there? Fuck that area. I'm gonna do this first. I gotta be more careful. <clears throat> All the trauma was worth finally meeting the man who ruined Metal Gear for Clash. <laughs> read the back of a case or whatever the label is. I know, nobody knows how to read them. Me included. So I don't know. It's one thing to not give a shit about what your kids are up to. It's another thing to only give a shit about what your kids are doing enough to yell at a complete stranger about it. <laughs> like, bro, figure it out. I need context. Oh, um... <laughs> the context is that Quiet Mountain spoiled, drunkenly spoiled the plot of Metal Gear Solid for my sister at a, at a college party. <laughs> Hold on, I want to lose my life. Don't mind me rewinding. Don't mind me cheating. Just blatantly cheating. It happened. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. He was very excited to talk about Metal Gear and spoil the whole story. I was like, when did poor <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so funny. It's a convoluted story. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure how much how much was retained. Enough to maybe not necessarily want to play it. But that I can't answer. I've only played a little bit of, uh, of Metal Gear. I, I got to, I think, the first boss, maybe? But I'm not sure if I did anything else. But I only really played in one sitting, so. But that's on my list to eventually stream, even though it's out of my comfort zone. I think that'd be a fun one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, wait, you don't like Metal Gear? Oh, that's so rude. Me in 2020. You are the man. That is so funny. The connection of being told that story and then meeting Quiet Mountain later on being like, uh, I've heard this story is so fucking funny to me. Metal Gear Solid used to be my favorite series. What, what, uh, dethroned it for you, Eric? Your comfort zone is being out of your comfort zone, you think? Maybe. Maybe that's true. There might be some validity in that. <laughs> Um, I feel like they should stream the first game to heal Clutch's past drama. <laughs> Growing up dethroned it? Wait, what do you mean? You just grew up and got tired of it? Every now and again you tell a story I've never heard or I meet someone and go, Oh, I know you! That's so funny. <laughs> I've heard of you before. It's because I talk too much. Just be talking constantly, man. You just don't shut up. Like, and then this other thing happened, and this other thing happened. Oh, fuck. Am I gonna die? Is everything gonna be okay? Aha! <laughs> uh, aha! Now I have to beat DDD. With two health. No pressure. Do it. Oh shit. Not ideal. Not ideal. Didi's nuts. He looks so freaking cute in this game. Look at him. He's just a baby. He's just a little baby. Throw stars at me, clown. Hey, it's that move from Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Happens to me in Smash too. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. We got these two some push-ups here. Make a little suspenseful. I just like guys. <laughs> that boy thing. You got killed by a penguin. My dog hates Kim Jong Un like he growls at a pick at him. What? That's not real. Are you sure? Are you sure that's a real thing? <laughs> you gotta do push ups to hype yourself up. <laughs> oh shit. DDD Smash Brothers. With this D's nuts, it's true. I like his little gasp when you hit him. He's like, oh, how dare you? This is just a, a long fight, because I think the only way you can really reliably damage him is wait for him to jump at you, and then you hit him that way. Because even if you do it this way, that little star doesn't even stay there long enough. So you really have to like, wait. Just gotta wait. Unless there's a strategy that I don't know about. Which is very real possibility. I fucked that up too, I don't even think I hit him. Ooh, that would've been good if I was cracked. He do have a lot of health though. I like how they basically took his whole moveset from this fight. Smash. <laughs> it's literally just this fight. That's kind of cute. I never really realized that. Ow. Cheater. Five more hits. We can do this. I believe in us. Get out of the way. Sakurai loves his babies, it's true. He's like, I designed it that way for a reason.
An online friend of mine said I'm good at playing a ZDD in Brawl. That's my main in Brawl. I love playing a ZDD. You know who else mains? Yes, we both do. It's true. It's part of our origin story. Ah, fuck. Wait, do I get another life? No, I don't think so. Shh, it's fine. This is the one for sure. Push-ups didn't work. I know, I should have teabagged him instead. We got close though. This is the one for sure. We just needed to shake off the rust. Our Kerbo rust. Killed by stars. I know, cringe. Totally cringe. Nice hit. Good job, me. It's funny to think about how, like, the original experience I had with this game was in black and white, no backlight, like, sitting hunched over my little Game Boy pocket as a six-year-old, just- and I probably- I don't think I ever got to this part of the game as a kid. Like, no way did I. I was not good enough at this game as a six-year-old. No chance in hell. That jump has, like, no end lag. It really doesn't. Talking about DDs. Baby Fishy never got this far. No, but I've beaten it as an adult a few times, just never on stream. We've never picked this up on stream before, which is kind of cool. Probably because I was like, it's so short, like, we have to- I don't even know how to turn it into a full stream. So this kind of worked out to play this at the end of, uh, Metroid. As a little filler. How much older you are than me until you mentioned Game Boy Pocket. I know, I never had the gray brick Game Boy, but I had a Game Boy Pocket. That was my first console I ever had. Well, that was mine, at least. We had an NES as well, but... I, I don't know, I, I'm not sure. I always imagine the stars were part of the universe in Kirby. Because they're always everywhere, you know? We haven't gotten hit yet. Don't look now. But we haven't gotten hit. Just saying. Are we gonna perfect him? Deep diving into Game Boy games than anything else. Which was so great for the eyes. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Just squinting at it. <laughs> I don't know why he has a hard full animation. It's not even like we're falling from that far. You know? <laughs> He's going down. Yeah! See ya! Untouched, GG Peach, thank you. Perfect. GG Gamer, thank you. Try falling five times your height, though, thank you. Oh, I forgot about this, it's so cute. Oh, how adorable is that? Stop. That was so cute. Winning two games. She's on fire, right? Let's make sure we make it a third. <laughs> do the extra mode? Wait, how do we do extra mode? I didn't even know there was extra mode, Eric. How do we do that? Mammy Preco? Who the heck is Mammy Preco? That's a great name. It tells you after the credits. Oh, I've never done that. Yeah, let's see what it is. Wait until the end of these credits, it'll tell you how to do extra mode. I've never even known that was a thing. Probably wouldn't be able to do that when he gets older. That would be an elder chore. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Just remember extra mode beating my ass? Wait, really? That's cool. Kirby's Dreamland is presented by- Wait, who are their pseudonyms? I, didn't... I don't know who their real names are. Who are they, Warla? Thank you for playing. No problem. Oh, so cute! Look 
at him go. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I love him. Okay, press up A and select. Up A, select on the title screen to start a new adventure. Good luck. Yeah, try it. I didn't know that was a thing. Decades ago, game developers were concerned about talent sniping, so they had their staff use pseudonyms. No way! I didn't know that! That's so cool! I never knew that at all. That's totally news to me. Okay, so up a select extra game. So what does this do? Does it just give me no, like one health or more enemies or something? Ooh, they jumped now. That's new. <gasps> Chicken! He's never here. Yo! I've never known this existed! <gasps> I have played this game so many times and I've never seen these enemies! What the fuck? This is delightful. This is an absolute delight and surprise. Thank you for telling me about this. I never knew this was- I I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, my mind is flown! This is so cool! How neat. Ow! <laughs> that was fucking rude! Extra game play through. I know! Kirby's Dreamland! Vante, yeah! We beat Super Metroid and we decided we would do a little Kirby's Dreamland playthrough. I've never no done the extra mode before though. We just beat it normally. And someone told me about extra mode, and that's so fun. Hi! <laughs> he just slides. Yeah, he doesn't need an animation. Look at this little. I love this little cupcake. I like- there's new- I am blown away that there are new, like, enemies that ha I- like, models that I had never seen before. That's so fun. I don't agree with that. I think that's bullshit to say. Navi, what's up? How you doing? It's good to see you, Al. I just want to get to the next level. Oh, that thing does two damage! I was gonna say, like, what is happening right now? <laughs> Brother. Leave me alone. We learned. We learned from our mistakes, finally. There's a lot going on right now. They do. They hurt a lot. Frick. So they all deal double damage. It's not just... It's not just a little flying black fish. Interesting. I think they might all do two damage, Bunko. I'm not sure. But I'm afraid now. I like the little chickens and I like the little cupcake. I'm more just delighted to know, like, figuring out something like this about a game that I've played for so long is very cool, you know? Like, I know I've beaten the game before, I just must have never watched the end of the credits, so I never knew. I never knew to do the extra mode. That's so cool. Hey, <laughs> it's no biggie, you just don't get hit. Yeah, right? How fun is that? Oh, shit. We got Gordos in the tree fight. Oops. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I always did too. I don't think I ever actually beat this game as a kid, but as an adult I did, and I guess I never, like, waited. Till the end of the cutscenes. Phytos, hi! Going for 20 years knowing there isn't more of something and finding out there actually is more? What a feeling! That's what I'm saying! 
My mind's fucking blown right now, Fidos. How you doing, by the way? Good to see ya. Are you so good at this? Or not? <laughs> Wander, what's up? That Gordon did three damage to you? Did it really? Holy shit. Genie, thank you. Whoopsie. Abby, how's your day going? It's good to see you. Get up there, Kirby. I believe in you. I want to save this microphone because I feel like I'm going to need it. Yeah, I can't. Oh, sadly. Don't need to see a doctor if you're dead. You're oh my gosh, they're little pumpkins! Did you guys see that? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta rewind. Okay, so in in normal mode, these are just little masks, but now in hard mode, they're pumpkins. I love it. I am geeking right now. This is so fucking cool. What a nice surprise. Ow. <laughs> Good night, Monte. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you next time. This isn't Metroid, Raven. We beat Metroid, so we swapped to some Kirby. Oh my god. That was fucking crazy. And so rude. <laughs> That's so funny. Get fucking baited, dude. I really did. How do I even do that? Wait, hold on. I gotta, like, grab it. And then, like, get the fuck out of the way. But then be fast enough to hit him. Oh! Not like that. Oh my gosh. How? <laughs> but I missed it. Do it again. Hey, lucky for you, it'll be on my YouTube channel. <gasps> Hello? Mando, thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? That's so nice. Hi Raiders. Hi, my name is Fish. I play a lot of retro games. We beat Super Metroid tonight for the first time. Uh, and we swapped to some Kirby Dreamland. Um, we beat it once and now we're doing like that extra mode and I didn't even know it existed until today, which is really cool. <gasps> Malco, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. How is Paper Mario? Uh, how far are you? I have never beaten Paper Mario in my life. I hope you had a great time with it. Um, I love that Pika. Isn't it so cute? He's so sleepy. I have a Squirtle, too, back here, but he's not looking at the camera. <laughs> um, but if you guys don't follow Pando, you should go check her out. Um, she does incredible voices when she's playing RPGs, um, and she's also on my stream team. Thank you so much for the shoutouts for Pando, by the way. Um, so if you don't follow her, you should check her out. She's really cool. Thank you so, so much for, for coming in. Um, Ziggy Blue, hi. Is your raid song CKY? It is. <laughs> it is. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I'd, uh... It's, I think it says a lot about me as a person. I love Paper Mario. I played so many Mario RPGs, but never the original. That's so cool. I, um, I haven't played any, like, any of the Paper Marios all the way through except for Super Paper Mario, the one for the Wii. And I actually loved that one. I know it's controversial because a lot of people don't love it. I thought it was so cute. Um, we're currently playing some Kirby's Land. I'm geeking out because I just realized there's like an extra mode after you beat the game once. And it's so much harder, which is so fucking refreshing. I almost wish I had known about this uh, today when we started like playing Kirby, because we could have started from this mode from the get-go. Uh, but that's okay, because at least I got to beat the game once. Because this is crazy. I'm getting my ass kicked. It's so hard to time it. Did I hit him? I think I did. It's very hard to time it. Um, but thank you so, so much for rating me. I really appreciate it. It's so good to see you. Come here, you little shit. Nice. Okay, gamer. 
I think you made it further than I did on extra mode. Well, I also did use a couple of rewinds already. <laughs> that one part with the big, uh, the big flying fish. <laughs> that, I cheated a little bit, so don't feel bad. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. This is all very st stressful. Who knew Kirby could get stressful? I am, like, delighted to know that is there is, like, a hard mode fucking Kirby. I just never knew this was a thing. Um, did you know that Lolo Lo, the mini boss, is the star of an earlier game? No. What game? Is it in a self-titled game? Like a game called Lolo? Lo? I never knew that. Uh, I don't think I have 100% any of them. Not that I can recall, at least. I'm trying to think if I do- oh. Three health Gordos bouncing all over the place. Oh my goodness, this would be tough. Excuse me. Uh, Adventures of Lolo. Oh, that's what they're from? That's cool, I didn't know that. Oops, fuck. I was wondering if these guys were gonna throw Gordos too, but I think they might just move a lot faster. Oops, I swallowed it. It was a puzzle game series with three games in the series. That's so cool, I didn't know that. What type of game was it? I have never touched it. Get up there. This boss was already kind of hard in the first place. Oh. Well, puzzles can be different ways, Eric. I wasn't sure if it was like a puzzle game, kind of like how Clue Clue Land is, where like you're... Like, I think of that, like, weird platformy type puzzle game, or if it's, like, a Tetris type puzzle game, or, like, Yoshi's Cookie. You know what I mean? Block pushing top down. That's why Lolo and La La La. Oh, that's their name. Oh, I didn't realize that one had a bow. I never noticed that until you said that. They push blocks just like they do in this game. How cute. I never knew that. Let me proceed to blow you anyway. You're more than welcome to. I never knew that was a thing. We're gonna have to go check that out. How cute. Thank you for the lore. The Kirby lore. Are they both made by Hal? Is that why? Like, Hal Laboratories made both? Ooh! Ah, oh, fuck. I panicked. It ate my block. Oh, shit! <laughs> They're both Hal things. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, this is, um... So much harder when they're going so much faster. Who knew? Game harder on hard mode? Who knew? Crazy! I didn't know that. So weird. I'm gonna go play Lolo now. Tell me how it goes. Good luck. Good luck, comrade. Oh shit. Uh, both the same company. I think you can even play the first NES game on Switches Online. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go check that. I might check that out right now, actually. Kinda wanna see how different uh, the third world is, since we're almost there. Very curious. Ugh. I wonder, um, how speedruns of this game are. It'd be kind of fun to try. I don't know if I'm good enough at it, but it could be- Gamer, thank you! Those little guys are rude. Oh, they're little lobsters now! How precious. Ooh! 
I bet so many people played this game and never did this hard mode. Which is like fascinating to me. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> Little squids. No! They're so rude. Alright, while we're dead. Most people didn't have rewind back in the day. It's so true. F. I wonder if any kids beat this hard mode. It's brutal. It's very hard. Oh, we can continue though. That's kind of cool. Good to know. That's so neat. Here, I'm gonna do... Uh, so... Because I know I'm gonna forget. It's A, select, up. Uh, extra. So then I'm gonna create a suspend point. So it's right there. So I don't have to remember the button combo or anything. It's just there for me in the future. How fun. Okay, hold on. I want to go home. And I want to go to NES. Where is it? Whoa! Thanks for the whoa, Zach. I want to see this Lolo game. Now I want to know. The lore has made me curious. Oh my gosh, we don't have to download right now. Well, how long is it gonna take? No. Download later. It's fine. <gasps> Wolf, thank you for the anthem. I slam my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the car door. No <laughs> download, just play. Yeah, for real. We don't got time for that. Okay, Adventures of Lolo. Where? Oh my gosh, there's so much on here. Um, let's see, Dig Dug, Earthbound Beginnings, which I heard is not very good. Um, good night, Tuba. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you next time. Get some sleep. I won't be streaming on Tuesday, but I'll be back on Thursday. Here it is. I wish it would ask you to update as soon as I boot up. I know! Waiting. Hold on, this is gonna bother me. I hate showing those little buttons on the bottom. Not show me those controls, please. Seeing them. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. The most kawaii little bottle caps. Oh, cute! This is the second game? Oh, is it? Oops. Notice I just saw Lolo and picked it. Adventures of... Lolo. Is it the second one? They're basically the same game regardless. Oh, okay. They're so cute, but you beat their asses, Kirby. Of course I did. Ooh, they got a nice little castle. I mean, the art's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Save the captured Princess Lala from the Great Devil's evil empire. You are the only one who can save Princess Lala. Enemy or friend? This is not what I expected you. Oh shit. Have punchies after. Oh shit. Okay. Stand by, stand by. Hold on. We're learning. We're learning. Okay. Got it. Okay, I see. Cool. How fun. Little smiley idiot is difficult to read. <laughs> Enemy or friend made me laugh out loud. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> he is kind of fucking hard to read. I don't know what the fuck his intentions are. <laughs> I was wondering if he would talk to me. What is this? They all- all the enemies look like they kind of might be my friend. Lolo use strength? Yeah, this is cute as hell. What the fuck was that? Did he just kick me right in the nuts? What was that? Oh, now he's fucking crazy. Fuck you. 
Okay, so the little lizard guys get unhinged when you kill them. Is this Mole Mania? This is... We, we've we jumped from game to game because... Um... Where am I? Oh. We jumped from game to game because someone said... Is he coming for me? The Adventures of Lolo. This little guy is the block pushy boss from Kirby. The one we just played. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to try. I think I fucked this up somehow. How do I get over it? Hmm, I think I messed up. How do I how do I get this shifty little caterpillar out of my business? This is Super Metroid hacking part. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fuck you. Uh this guy's up to no good. I don't think I like him. How do I get over there? Not like that. Can I be so easily stumped? You can zap him to temporarily remove him from Oh, so I need both of my zappies. We're stuck at the same place. <laughs> We can blast him! We can blast him out of town! But you're smiling so fuck. What did I do? I didn't react fast enough. You're smiling little smug ass face out of here. Hold on. Oh god, he's following me. <laughs> so anyway, I just started blasting. That's how this feels. This is really cute. I can't even be mad, because this is so cute. There's no pause, by the way. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, cannot pause. Which is an interesting design choice. <laughs> the slug guy starts dancing. I know, I did see that! Once you get all the hearts, he's like, he's he is friend. See, Fro Man, I wasn't so wrong. What are these green... Is that a frog in an aquarium? Is that what I'm looking at? Unclear. Push block puzzle? Good at those. See ya. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What I thought- oh my god, those skulls are really scary. Everything else is very pleasant. That is not. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. That is not pleasant. Go, 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 go. Not fast enough. So they don't die once I get the pearl? That's- oh, maybe I can block them in. New plan. New plan, new plan, new plan. We trap this bitch. So his sculling attitude stays where it belongs. Uh, this one too. Yeah, stay there. We're trapping, man. Stay in there, bitch. Yep. Yep. See? We got brain power in there. What a cute little game! I love this. The brain is so large. Yeah, look at them, idiots. Stuck in there. <laughs> I love that you're enjoying- this is literally so cute. Oh, look at them. <gasps> friend? Not friend. <laughs> I mean, sort of friend. They just- they just said, stop. <laughs> Everything looks like a friend in this. I can't- I love that you don't. I don't think you can escape. I like how you push the block as close, to, close as possible to- yeah, we're sending a message. Yeah, I think they trap me. If I get trapped by them, they're like, tough fucking shit, dude. You're done. <gasps> they're gonna trap me! They're a little scary. Do they follow me? Or are they just on their own little mission here? Frick. Fuck 
that up. I think you get soft locked. Yeah, I don't, because you don't like die. You just like, you just like get stuck. Floor two, congrats. You just cleared floor one. This is not the end of the battle. This is so cute. I believe select is the suicide button. Oh, I see. Ouch. How many lives do I have? Just like endless? If I die, it's like not a big deal. Ooh, is that an armadillo? How do I go faster? Top right. Oh, two. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. No, I pressed the wrong button. Hold on. Wait. Eh! What button is it? Why don't I have any shooties? No shoot. I got no shoot. No power. I have no ammo. Yeah, dude. BJBM. It's a gross password. Oh, I like that. Continue. It didn't make me put in the password, it just knew. Wait, how do I put in the password, though? <laughs> Sipping Boomer, what's up? <laughs> it's a girl's password. BJBM. How do I put it in? Start. Where? Where password? <laughs> Call up a twofer. <laughs> Give her the one-two punch. I don't know how to put in the password. I'm convinced I saw it at some point. BJBM. Where do I put that shit in? Nice castle there. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's when you only boot the game. I think you're right. Yeah, there it is. Password. So where does this take me? To the last floor I was on? Or the last room? I have so many questions. I think it's just the last floor. It's kind of cool. This is cool. I think this game might have to go on our backlog of like games we actually try to beat. This is so interesting. It seems very hard. Yeah, the password screen is, screen is really nice. Maybe I trap him. Get over here, you little shit. Ha! Ah! Fuck. Hold on. Wait, wait! was a good idea. Pac-Man, if it was good, you're not wrong. Okay. Wait, fuck. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. Shit. Ha! Ha! Fuck you! Didn't see that one coming, you little idiot. Bitch-ass armadillo. I think that's what that is. Hang on Pac-Man in the chat now? Yes, we are. Who knew we'd end up playing this tonight? Not me. What the fuck is that? Pac-Man is good, but it helps you know how to- Yes. That's true. Pac-Man I'm not very good at. Wait, what are these little heads? Are you gonna attack me? Hi, Kyo! What's up? Win back soon? Oh, that one's expression changed. Oh, as you get closer, it gets spooky. Look at him. He's happy. And then I'm like, he's like, I might fuck you up. I might. Ah! <laughs> Fucking knew it. I knew it. Kyo, how you doing? It's good to see ya. Aha, shoot the frog in the aquarium, not me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm tired as fuck. What you been up to this weekend? Why are you so tired? Is this thing gonna... Ooh. Also fuck me up from the side? I'm not sure. Let's put those there, just there. Cute. This game honestly seems stressful, does it? It's kinda cute. Ooh, I just like seeing what little enemies are gonna come out. Like, what is that thing? Who is he? Hi, Denuder, what's up? How you doing? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I don't think I can push this anywhere. Oh, yes, I can. Stay there, I guess. Is that helping me? I don't know. 
Please play Pac-Man 2. Wait, what is Pac-Man 2 for? What console? <gasps> he threw a fucking knife at me. Did you guys see that? He was like, hey, 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 just like chilling. Threw a fucking goddamn knife at me. You stay there, you clown. Can't trust a single man in this place. Can I? <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, we'll go this way. He's ugly too. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, stupid ugly tomato. SNES and Genesis, I loved it as a kid. It's very, uh, unique. <laughs> Is it as unique as Adventures of Lolo? Okay, now where am I? What's going on? Oh, another little- oh, that guy. Marshmallow. Marshmallow Bouncer. I'm gonna back me into a corner because he's got nothing else better to do. I don't think I like his attitude. A ghost! I think he's a bouncer. Ooh, what does this mean? Oh, that was a very curvy sound. Can I, like, knock this guy silly? Is that what that means? Password hammer. What the fuck does that mean? Can I hit- Oh, I can break one single rock. That's what that means. And that gave me bullets for some reason. A snake? I don't know. Power hammer. Oh, that doesn't mean password. Fascinating. Cool. I'm just saying, I think I'm crushing this. Will Fish eventually stream every game ever made? I have intentions, yes? It's a scary game. What, Pac-Man 2? The streets? <laughs> I don't know what he is, but he moves, which makes him worse than the Medusas. Oh, is that the ones that shot at me? I don't think I like the skulls. The skulls stress me out. Armadillo is fine. He's in his little... He's in his enclosure or something. Okay. What is this? You can only push that one way, I suppose. Can I shoot it? No. Incorrect. Wrong answer. Can I... Oh, I got a power? Can I jump over this? <laughs> they remade this for PS2, but it got renamed when it got brought to NA. This game? I don't think that's true. <laughs> Maybe more so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is the password. Okay, as much as I want to keep going, I should probably end, or else I'm going to be playing this all night. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Adventures of Lolo until the day I die. <laughs> I think this game is quite fun. Thank you for telling me about it. I would have never even known to click on this game, uh, but this is very cute, so thank you. That was a fun little adventure we went on. I appreciated it. Little orphan scion of sorts. Here we go. Here we go. Not orphan. Uh, Quiet Mountain was trying to tell Hot Papa the other day that... The best retro PS1 game was Orphan Scion of S Sorcery. And he's mad that it didn't have a call out in Astrobot. So, if that meant anything to you, uh, your mind might be as cooked as mine. But it meant something to me. Because it was actually a PS2 game. Oh, so troll prank. Get pranked. You got so pranked. Thanks for stream. Thank you, Dorky. I appreciate it. I love watching you kill Mother Brain. It was always so, it's always so cozy. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. That was fun to share with you. I didn't expect, um, I'd be teaching someone about Lolo after watching a Jazzy stream. Well, Wonko, thank you so, so much for teaching me about Lolo. I liked making the connection between Kirby and this, like, would have never even known that. So thank you. That was really cool. I really liked that. Um, Bust a Move? Oh, I've never played Bust a Move. Is, you said that Bust a Move reminds you of this game? So, is it like same art style? I guess it helps if I put Bust a Move game. Oh! Isn't that Bubble Bob? Bub bubble Bobble? I unironically stand Bust a Move. Of course you do. GG Gamer, thanks for playing Metroid. I'm gonna tell myself it was all for me. It was. 
It was for you. That's why I did it. I got the dragons from Bubble Bobble, which also- Oh, it's got the dragons from Bubble Bobble. They're very cute. They remind me of Duchamp's little mascot. Plus the move uses the same characters. Okay. Very cute. Thanks for the GG, Scott. I had Bubble Bobble and the Rainbow Kid game on PS1. What is Rainbow? I don't know that one. Thanks for the quote. Oh, what quote got added? I didn't even see it. Frick, I missed that completely. I still have never been quoted. <laughs> oh, Fiend. No, now you have. Hell yeah. Good night, Clutch. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. I will be back on Tuesday. I'm sorry. I will be traveling for work. So I will see you guys on Thursday. My stream schedule next week is going to be Thursday, Friday during the day, and Sunday. That's what we're doing. And then Sunday we're going to be on the front page doing something. I don't know what yet. I haven't decided. We might be starting Earthbound. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't picked. I will let you guys know. We'll figure it out. I'll post my schedule tomorrow or Tuesday or something. Um, but thank you so much. I appreciate you all. This was really fun. I had a great time today. I beat two games. It's pretty cool. That doesn't happen very often. Um, good night, Eric. Thank you so much for hanging. Who are we going to go say hi to? Are there people still live at 11.52 on a Sunday? I don't know. Colin, thank you for being here. Um, if there's anybody lurking, by the way, that's like, this place is pretty cool. Uh, and you'd like to join our Discord server, we have a pretty cool one. I really like it. Um, clearly playing Lolo on the front page. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. To <laughs> How long is Adventures of Lolo? <laughs> I have to keep my eyes on emails if you're playing Earthbound. I'm interested in watching you play that. I'm going to be starting that soon. I'm very excited. I am very excited to start playing Earthbound. It's going to be a great time. Uh, we have a friend playing Elden Ring, Final Fantasy V. We have a friend playing Wario Land, which is pretty funny, because we were just talking about that earlier. Uh, we have a friend playing Another Crab's Treasure. Um, 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 super auto pets. I haven't seen anybody playing that in a while. And so many people playing Bloodborne. What the heck? That's actually crazy. Which Wario Land? Wario Land 4. Lolo can't be more than like four hours. Yeah, but like, what if I feel like I'd have to use so many freaking rewinds? Uh, my refresh and he went offline. I was gonna say, I didn't see him on Gray. I was looking through my list and I was like, wait a second, I don't see him. But thank you for the suggestion. Um, is it Jared? Yeah. <laughs> I've never raided Jared before. Should we? Should we go say hi to a new friend? Jared? <laughs> I've lurked in his streams, but I've never actually raided. Uh, considering we were just talking about Wario Land. Let's do it. Okay, Wario Land. <laughs> so, the good Jared um, is a VTuber who looks like Hank Hill. So it's gonna be a good time. He, he also sounds like Hank Hill. So I think you guys will really like it over there. It's a good time. Um, thank you for the raid messages. I appreciate it. Let's go say hi to uh, Jared. Sure I spelled it right. Yes, I did. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Good night, Wonka. We'll see you next time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you guys want the Discord server link one more time, there it is. Uh, but no pressure to join. I know being in a lot of Discord servers is a lot. Um, but I will see you guys on Thursday. I will miss you on Tuesday very much. Um, but remember, I also have a YouTube channel. If you like the- there's a fish-shaped hole in my heart. I must watch a fish- you know, there's a shitload of them. There's literally like 400 videos there. It's a lot. Gary, hi. We're about to raid out, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, he actually is Hank Hill? Wait, really? <laughs> Good night, Phytos. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you. Okay, take care of yourselves. You guys are the best. Mods, thank you as always for, for your help. Y'all are the best. And I will see you on Thursday. Take care. See you later. Bye. <laughs>